A new MuOS update named Baked Beans has just been released for Ambernic handhelds. Unlike the last update, this one does not require a full reflash of the SD card. That is, if you are currently running the refried beans version. If you are on an older version of MuOS, you will need to either install the refried beans version and then apply the update, or you can wait for the image of baked beans to be released, which is planned to come out in the next few days. This includes many quality of life updates and bug fixes, along with a few new features, including the ability to swap the D-pad and analog stick input with a quick press of the power button, just like the feature seen on stock OS. This works for most, if not all, RetroArch cores and external emulators. Some Portmaster games may not respond to this, but as you can see here, it is working for Stardew Valley on the SP. As of right now, it seems to be a bug that is stopping this from working with the Plus model. If a patch is released or a workaround is found, I will pin a comment to the video letting you know. The Moonlight app has also been added, which allows you to stream games from your PC. Moonlight is located in the application section, but it requires an application to be running on your computer to connect to it. I recommend using Sunshine for this but I will make a separate video guide in the future to go through that setup as it can take some time. A couple of things to note about Moonlight. You will want to stick to games that support or look good on a 4x3 aspect ratio, meaning they do not have a lot of small text or other things that are going to be hard to see. This may require some trial and error to figure out which games work and which don't. Another thing to keep in mind is what controls the game will need. If it requires analog sticks, you will obviously need to use a device with analog sticks. Now, when you want to exit, you must first close the game or it will continue to run on your computer. Once the game is closed, you can press L1, R1, start and select all at the same time, which will back you out. I think this is a neat addition to these handhelds, but because of the small screen and the aspect ratio, it's definitely not going to be a great experience for most games, but I'm sure there are a few that could be enjoyable. A little flip clock app has been added. It's nothing crazy, but it looks nice. You hit the A button to toggle between 12 or 24 hours mode and hit the menu button to quit. You can also now quickly exit Pico 8 by hitting the start and select button at the same time, which is a nice quality of life addition. The HDMI sound issue with the previous version has been fixed. So now you should be able to use HDMI without worrying about losing your sound forever. I tested it a lot and found that the only time I ran into an issue was when I powered off the device while using the HDMI out before disconnecting it, then powering it on without using HDMI out. The audio was missing in this instance, however, by going to settings and turning off HDMI out, that fixed the issue. The PPSSPP menu has been scaled to fit and the screen looks great. The PCSX rearmed settings, enhanced resolution, and speed hack have been disabled by default. However, you can still turn these on manually in the RetroArch settings. They fixed the missing info file for MGBA Rumble Core. So now you can save and load states. Some more hotkeys have been added to the Drastic Steward. I'll show those on the screen now. I'll stop here so we can move on to the installation, but there are many more changes and bug fixes. So if you want to see the full list, check out the muos.dev webpage. I'll include a link to it in the description but now I'll show you how to apply the update. Before installing this update, you should know that old entries into your favorites and histories list will not work after the update. So you will need to clear those out and re-add your favorites after updating. We start by downloading the baked beans update file from the website. We do that by going to muos.dev, click on the RG35XX plus and H link on the left hand side. Then click on the baked beans link 
Click the Download it from our release build page link. Click the zip file to start the download. Again, this update works for all devices that are currently running refried beans, including the 28XX. If you are running any other version of MuOS other than refried beans, or you have never installed MuOS before, you will need to first install the refried beans version. I will link to my MuOS install video if you are needing help with that. Once the download is done, you will need to connect your SD card and place the zipped file in the archive folder located on the SD card. Do not unzip the update file. Once the update file is in the archive folder and your device is powered on, navigate to Applications, Archive Manager, and you should see the file here. Select it, and it will start the update. The next step is very important. Once the update is finished, restart MuOS. And if no one has told you this before, do not use the restart button on the side of the device. It can mess stuff up. Okay, that's it. You're now on Baked Beans. If you enjoy this type of content or find it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe as it really helps me out. Before I end the video, I'll go over just a couple of common bugs people have reported. As I said before, your old entries in the favorites and histories list will not work. This is because of some backend changes that affected these lists. You will want to clear these out and re-add your favorites. There is a fast way to clear them out by going to Applications, Task Toolkit, and then running the Clear History and Clear Favorites to quickly delete them all. Currently, if the device is set to Boot to Content Explorer, it boots to the main menu anyway. I'm going to add this here again, just because I'm sure many people may ask about it, is that there is a bug that currently prevents the Plus model from using the D-pad and analog stick swap power button hotkey. There are probably more bugs that have yet to be found, but if I am made aware of any, I will add them to the pinned comments. If you run into any issues, you can join the MuOS Discord, as there are always people in there ready to help. If you want a better way to contact me, I have recently started my own Discord that you can join and ask me any questions regarding anything in my videos, or just come and chat about retro games and handhelds. As always, thank you for watching.